are the best you the world will see. Come along now and share you with me. Let's learn something new and share feelings too. Cause these are the things to do to be the best you. Hello, friends. Hi, Possum. Oh, hi, Auntie Lena. What are you humming? It's a song called The Muffin Man. Do you know The Muffin Man, Auntie Lena? <laughs> well, I think so. Does he live down Drury Lane? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> How did you learn that song? Oh, well, an elder taught me at the nursing home next to my school. Well, my class went there today. We got to do puzzles and draw and sing. Oh, it sounds like you had a fun time. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the elders at the nursing home really enjoyed having you there, too. Mm -hmm. They said, we are the best community helpers. <laughs> but, well, I don't really know what that means. Well, do you know what a community is, Possum? Mm, I think so. It's what we live in, right? Yes. That is one kind of community. Do you remember when I told you that home isn't just a place, it's a feeling too? Mm-hmm. It's also true about community. Community is both a place where people live and a feeling. It's friendship, love, and support that people feel when they share ideas and care for each other. So, my family is part of my community? That's right. And so are your friends at school and the elders at the nursing home. Wow, that's a lot of people. It is. We're all part of many different communities throughout our lives, and they aren't just the same for everyone. Oh, they're not? No, I'm not in school and I'm not a possum. Those are two communities that are unique or special to you. But we have a community here with our friends on Look, Listen, and Learn. Oh, yeah. You know what we should do, Possum? Oh, what, Auntie Lena? Let's look and see what Miss Talia is up to at Daybreak Star Preschool. I think she has a fun art project to help us learn more about community. Hi, welcome. I'm Miss Talia, and this is my friend Nishoba. And we're actually doing a collage. That's taking all these different materials and making one big picture. And I also, we have some stickers that can go in your collage with words. And there are a lot of just different special things that I've seen that you really like to do with people. And another yep. raindrop. You want to read a few of these that... These are all the special things that you like to do with the people in your community. Can you read that for me? Playing stickball with my friends. Oh, playing stickball with your friends. Can you find me that photo so we can add it to your book? Yay, thank you. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. So these are all your friends and family you play ball with? Um, Tavi and Nail. Tavi? Yeah. Oh, I love that. So we're going to add that to this page of your book, okay? Okay. So you'll work on the collage part, and I will add this to your page. We'll put on some glue to the back of the photo first. Oh, it's so sticky. We'll hold it. And then we will put it right there. All right, so we have our next page of our book. Do you want to read that one for me? Marching with my school on Indigenous Peoples Day. Marching with your school on Indigenous Peoples Day, you're right. Oh, do you have a picture of you marching with your friends? Can you look in the pictures and find me the picture of you marching? It's right here. Oh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and add this page to your collage, Neshoba, OK? okay. So far, all of your friends and your family and your community, sometimes you play sports, 
sometimes you go on marches and I see there's a drum in this picture. So they were probably singing, right? That, that they were trying to sing loud. Oh, they were singing loud. So this one is a picture of, you told me, it's a picture of your dog, your dad, your mom, and you. Yeah. So we need a title for this page. What were you doing in this picture? Um, we were hiking. You were hiking, okay. Do you like to hike? I do. You do like to hike. So the title to this page is I like to hike with my family. How is the collage coming? Do we have more animals to add or are we about done? I'm all done. You're all done? Yay! So we have, can you count the pages with me, Mishoba? One. Two. Three. Four. Wow, we have four pages to our book. I will put this page as our very first page, okay? So we'll put it on top, and we'll put all of our pages together, and then we will punch a hole to hold all of the pieces together. Ooh, that was a loud noise. So we'll take our pipe cleaners. Do you have a special color you wanna use for your book? Dark, dark, dark green. Dark green, okay. Hold it and you put it in. All right. But then we're gonna put this one into the next hole. Right here. Oh, you can put it there, yeah. And then we'll turn it over. And we are all done. We finished our whole book. See, and then we open it like this. So your picture is in the front of your collage with your animals and raindrops, and then your other pictures are in there, and you're all done. Well, thank you, Nishoba. You did an awesome job today, and thank all of you for joining us. Bye-bye. Oh, Auntie Lena, when I make my community map, I'm going to draw you right next to my tree and Mama Possum and the nursing home. <laughs> That's great, Possum. And do you have a better understanding about community? I think so but I still want to know what it means to be a community helper, like the elders said. What do you think it means, Possum? Mm, someone who helps their community? Yes, community helpers are respectful and kind and support people in their community who are sick or may need help. Oh, then I think the elders at the nursing home were right. I am a community helper. I agree, Possum. Helping doesn't always have to be a big action. Helping others sometimes means simply being there for them and doing things together, like drawing or puzzles. Or singing. That reminds me of a book I read about the ways community helpers support each other. Ooh, what's it called? It's called You Hold Me Up by Monique Gray Smith. Ooh, can we hear it, Auntie Lena? Of course we can. Let's listen to Miss Mai read the story at Daybreak Star. Hi everyone, my name is Mai, and this is our friend. Can you tell them your name? What is your my, name? My name is Amelia. Hello, and we are going to read the book, this book called You Hold Me Up, written by Monique Gary Smith and Daniel Daniel. Are you ready? Mm hmm Okay, let's begin. You hold me up when you are kind to me. When you share with me. Oh, I see this little kid have, um, has an apple. And what do you think this kid wants to? You want an apple too. Oh, yeah. And when you want an apple, what, what would you do? How do you ask? Please. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, please. Can you share the apple with me? Yeah. When you learn with me, you hold me up. When you play with me, when you laugh with me, when you sing with me, you hold me up, just like this cuddling, just like we're cuddling. When you comfort me, what does that mean, when you comfort me? Yeah. Um, hug each other. Oh, yeah. And when you listen to me, when you respect me, 
You hold me up. I hold you up. So you do it and then I do it. And that means, there you go, we hold each other up. Thank you, everybody. Bye. You know what, Auntie Lena? What, Possum? You hold me up. Oh, Possum, you hold me up when you say such thoughtful things. Thank you. Just trying to be a good community <laughs> helper. You are. Did that story make you think of some other things and other ways that you could be a good community helper? Well, since Mama Possum is part of my community, I thought I could help her cook dinner tonight. That's a great idea, Possum. Do you know that food is one of the best ways to build community? It is? Yes. Food often helps bring people together, like you and Mama Possum. Once a year, my neighborhood throws a big dinner. Everybody makes food, then we eat and celebrate as a community. That sounds like a lot of fun. Can I come next year? Of course you can, <gasps> Possum. You're part of my community. Oh, that reminds me. We haven't made food with our friends. Can we do that today? Yes. As a matter of fact, our friends at Daybreak Star Preschool just picked some potatoes from their community garden. Let's look, listen, and learn about what they're making with Miss Jenny. Hi. Hi! My name is Chef Jenny, I'm with Seattle Cucina, and I'm here with the wonderful assistant, Paul. Paul. And today, what are we making, Paul? We're making mashed potatoes. We're making mashed potatoes. Do you know what's special about the potatoes that we are going to be cooking with today? No. They were grown just for us. Did you know wow. that? They no. were grown in something called a community garden. Have you ever heard of that before? No. Have you ever gardened before? Yes. Who has you? Who, who have you gardened with? My mom. Your mom? What have you grown in your garden? Strawberries. Ooh, were they sweet? Ooh. Well, a community garden is kind of like that, but instead of you and your mom, imagine it being all of your neighbors Whoa. working together in this big giant garden and making potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> Are you ready to start cooking? Yes. Yes. All right. A knife. Let me show you how to hold your knife. So do I hold my knife like this? Uh, Does this look no. good? No. Because so, obviously it can fall off. Yeah. So what you're going to do is, do you see this part of the knife? You see that part on your knife? Mm -hmm. You're going to put your index finger on that part to grip it like this, like a firm handshake. So do I cut with my hands out like this? No. Mm -mm. What you're going to do is something called a bear claw where when you cut, you put your fingers back so that if you accidentally chop, you will not chop your fingers off. Oh. Yes, very important. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop this potato little strips. Look at that beautiful potato. Wow, that looks so cool. Right? Go for it, bear claw. All right, do your best, nice and slow. Perfect. Now what you're gonna do is turn it this way, right? Bear claw, bear claw. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Wow. Right, turn it down. Put it in here. Good. So you cut the potatoes. <laughs> they are right here. Wow. Can you dump this into this pot for me? I'll hold it nice and still for you. Ooh. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. All right, can you pick up this? Yeah. This is just regular old water. Fill the pot. Perfect. Alrighty. So what are we gonna do with these potatoes now? We are gonna let it, gonna let it, let it cook. cook for mm -hmm. 20 minutes. That's right, exactly. Alright, our potatoes are done boiling. Wow. Here they are. They are so beautiful. Can you take a smell? What does oh. it smell like? Ah, oh, it's so good. So I have a bunch of different spices. There is garlic powder. Wow. Salt. Wow. Herb de Provence. Ooh, that sounds like something that I don't understand. <laughs> it's French. Wow. So this one is thyme. 
Here you are. This one kind of tastes good. You tasted it? No, I'm just, well, I, <laughs> smell. I smelled it. <laughs> All right, how about this? Uh, uh, he says. <laughs> All right, what about this one? Which one do you like the best? That one. All right, do you want to put it in our potatoes? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to ask you to do something called a five finger pinch. So can you put five fingers out for me? Go like this for me. So we're going to go in with five fingers and we're going to go, all right, go in. <laughs> can we actually do that two more times? Because we have a lot of potato here. We have so much potato. Boom, all righty. And then we have this. Salt. Salt, he says. Can we do a three finger pinch? Can you put three fingers out for me? So you go one, two, three, all right? So do one. One, one two, two, three. three. Perfect. All right, and then we have something that looks like this. It's milk. It's milk. So can you take this and pour it in for me, please? The whole entire thing? The whole thing. Perfect. Wow. All right, what do you think this is? Butter. Butter. All right, take the spoon and plop it down. Perfect. All right, so now, what is this? It's a, I think it's something to smash, mash, smash potatoes with. Mm -hmm. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go boop, 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 mm -hmm. and then you're just gonna keep on mashing until it looks like beautiful mashed potatoes. Keep going for me, please. Boop, yep. <laughs> boop, boop. Wow, this looks kind of looks like something so delicious. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do now is the most important part. Do you know what, it is, what that is? No. Tasting and adjusting. <gasps> so what we're gonna do is put our wrists out, okay? I'm gonna do a little bit of potato here. I'm gonna do a little bit, whoop. <laughs> do a little bit of potato here. We're gonna go like this. All right. Do you think that's good? Yeah. Do you think it needs anything? No. No? I like it. I like it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. All right, and that is our mashed potatoes. Ooh. Ooh. And I just want to say a really big thank you to our folks who grew these potatoes for us in the community garden. Wow. I'm oh, really yeah. thankful for those people to do this for us. Right? They were so nice. So, you want to say goodbye to the folks at home? Goodbye. Bye. Mm -hmm. I should make some of those mashed potatoes for our next community dinner. Oh, and Mama Possum and I should bring food from our garden to the dinner too. Isn't it nice to be a part of a community and know that you're surrounded by people who care about you? Mm-hmm. Wow. I sure learned a lot about my community today. And I hope you can go back to the nursing home soon. Oh, me too. I want to keep being a community helper to the elders. And I know that they'll really appreciate that. Oh, thank you, Auntie Lena. You are welcome, Possum. And friends, thank you for taking time to look, listen, and learn with us today. And remember, you're the best you that the world will ever see. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Do you know the muffin? Man, the, the muffin, muffin man, the muffin man, the muffin man. Oh, do, do you, you know, know the muffin man who lives down Drury Lane? <laughs> <laughs>
This episode focuses on the many benefits we receive from being in community, especially when our community connections are strong and positive. Children become part of their parents' and caregivers' community by default. They're home with you when friends come by, they're with you when you go shopping, or to your place of worship. They share in all the customs and traditions you celebrate every year. Community means being part of something, being valued and respected. As a parent, it's important to give your child the opportunity to feel connected in meaningful and positive ways. Like Auntie Lena, talk about why community and helping others is important to you. Listen to your child when they have something to share. Set boundaries that will help them be successful in navigating different communities. Both you and your child have something unique and wonderful to offer your community, yourselves. Thank you for being part of the Look, Listen, and Learn community. We appreciate you.